Introducing E-Boat version two, the quad motor edition. What we've done uh, between version one and version two is quite a bit actually. Decided to chop all the heads off these motors. I just chopped them right off, took the direct leads from the DC motor, got rid of all the other stuff. And uh, ran that all into this giant harness, which goes down this PVC pipe over to the control panel, often known as a helm. So in here we have a lot. This is probably one of the most complicated wiring jobs I've ever done, just as far as the amount of wiring. And what this does is it goes into uh, these little microcontrollers which I'll demonstrate in a second from the other side. You kind of get an idea of how it would work. The captain sits at the back seat and uh, all the motors are routed up to these microcontrollers. There's two, there are two batteries under here and another battery in the back. Uh, it's a group 29 battery in the back that controls the two center motors and a group two group 27s here controlling the two outer motors. So the way this works, over here, you just have all your accessories. Um, there's a glass shield on here, a plexi glass shield. Try to keep the water out of this thing. So right now we have a bilge pump there. All the others are just reserved. I'll put lights and all kinds of stuff there. Over here, you can kind of see under this glass here, all the microcontrollers. And how this works is uh, pretty cool, actually. So you turn on all these power switches, and as you turn them on, you'll see each microcontroller booting up and those numbers that you're seeing are actually the percentage of current that I'm directing to that motor. And it's very fine tunable, it's pretty cool. So these switches below control forward and reverse for each motor. So I'll demonstrate by going forward on this motor. You now see it running. Reverse. And you can control the speed, you'll be able to hear it probably. Very granular control. When you're in reverse, it lights up. I didn't want the lights on when I'm driving forward for night. But I did want to know when I was in reverse. So when you're forward, you don't get a light. So we can crank all these up to 100. This would be your full throttle boat. The way you would steer is by taking your left motor and dragging, just like a canoe. Or right motor, whatever you're doing. So I call this the tank drive system. I have no idea if it's going to work. You can also kill these microcontrollers at the NOM if you want. But what's pretty neat is you set them to whatever you want and they have a memory. So when you're leaving the boat and you kill your main breakers, you see all the controllers go off. When they come back on, they should uh, be roughly in the same place if you didn't bump them or whatever. So that's that, it works pretty well. I'll take it out for a sea trial tomorrow. There's the bilge pump you heard earlier. And uh, then the solar array, which will be in version three, goes all up in here and that's already built. But I wanna do some first speed testing for version two. And uh, version three is also going to get Right now we have these two blade weedless props on here. I bought these speed props. So I'll put those on for version three and do some speed testing as well. That's it.